coming up on Tassie Travellers Explorin' Oz. Because if I hit you on the head with that, you'd know about it. Ah! Oh, this is crazy. Baker's Beach or the Narontapu National Park. So we're heading up to that. We're going to be there in about 10 minutes time. Set up the carrier for a few days with the kids. Beautiful little spot and we're happy to show you all around Baker's Point. It's uh, paid paid camping. So last time we were here it was about 15 bucks a night. 16 for a family. 16 now is it? For a family. Yeah. For a family? Cool. Uh, but yeah totally worth it. It's a great little spot. What do you reckon, guys? Excited? Yes! <laughs> Just look at our So here we are, we're at the visitor centre at the entrance to Narontapu National Park. So this is where we've got to pay for our park, uh, our campsite. So we're able to get a site for four nights. It's a Sunday, so there's a few people leaving today. So, um, We'll keep this running as we're going up to the site, give you an idea of what the road's like going in. Gravel road, but it's usually pretty good. Having fun? I am. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having Good. a ball. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss him. <laughs> okay, star of the show, Papa Phil. Ah. Okay, so this is Papa Phil, or is it Philip? Papa well, Phil. It Papa all depends who's saying it. <laughs> okay, Phil. <laughs> We're going to have a look at a freshly patented new way of putting in tent pegs now. So uh, the secret is uh, all yours. So not not going to be a secret for much longer. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I'll try. Well, the tent pegs usually is not so much getting them in; it's getting them out. Right. So you use a device. Ah, okay. Called a rattle gun. And then you've got these things. So you just put that there if you want to take it out. Yeah. 
and there's no effort at all in getting them out. <laughs> and if you want to put them in, there's no effort in at all in putting them in. So what are those screws called? Um, landscape screws, I think. Landscape. All right. Because they're so you can get slightly longer ones than those, but it's sometimes difficult if there's rocks in the soil. But What's going on here? It looks like it's been raining. Yeah, well we've uh, we dug a trench to try and keep the water out inside, but we failed. <laughs> Went underneath. My my, uh, my thongs floated up underneath. <laughs> <laughs> up under the caravan. Oh, you're still going. Uh -huh. Right. These are always very handy. Mallet. A rubber mallet. So as can, opposed to as opposed to a metal mallet, a hammer. As opposed to a hammer. Right. What? Why? Tell us why. Because when you try to knock plastic wedges in, now this one's wooden, but you put one of these in, you don't damage anything. Gotcha. But it's still heavy enough to do the job. Gotcha. Because if I hit you on the head with that, you'd know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I would. <laughs> Man, and I'm sad. Those, those plastic things, then one of them is essential because you because you just break it with it. And that when you when you want to hook your your annex, that's the device you need. Yep. You pull it down. Not the big long one that comes with your caravan. No, no, that's too hard. This this has got a handle on it and. You only, need, you only need that much extra. Yeah, but did you buy that or do you make that yourself? No. Well, this is a, just a standard <coughs> um, handle for a little mini roller for a painting. Ah, gotcha. It's a paint roller. Paint roller handle. Yeah. Yeah. So after a bit of a gloomy start yesterday, uh, we've woken up to a bit of sunshine, but it is high tide. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Here at Baker's Point, we're going to go down to have a bit of a dip. Well, see how we go. <laughs> we're going to jump in this river or what? We are. I did my hair just especially. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another friend's just turned up over there. Going to join us down at the river. Papa Phil's up raring to go. So just so you know, the river that we are about to swim in is called the Rubicon River. And the closest town to this river is um, Port Sorel, which is close to Devonport. So it's uh, kind of between Devonport and the Tamar River, where the Tamar River comes out, but closer to Devonport anyway. So let's go see what it's like. So over that direction, that's Port Sorel on the other side. So the side that we're on is the um, Narontapu National Park. And this particular area is called Baker's Point. So Baker's Beach is up around the corner where the river meets the sea and the beach goes along uh, to the east. Whereas west is uh, Devonport. Off you go, frog. Show us how it's done. I'm digging. Come ah. on, Mom. Oh. I'm not a Tasmanian born and bred, so this is absolutely ah, insane. Will I do it? Let's see if Kel. It's so clear, Justice. It's beautiful. And it's sandy all the way. This one. <laughs> Are we going to do it? Do <laughs> it! Justice in. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's inside. laughs> well, I can't go under, that's my problem. <laughs> 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 oh, 
god, this one is great. It's a monkey ear. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Three. That's it, go. Two. Go. One. Oh, oh, this is crazy. How are you today? Good. Yeah? Been enjoying your bike? Got a few war wounds? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You come off your bike today? Oh yeah, pretty big stack. Yeah? Oh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? All right. We're going to go for a walk around the campsite. So we're close to the entrance of the camping area. We just do a little turn off as you come in. And um, this is our site here. It was the only one that was available when we came in. We would have chosen this one over here because we were at that one last time, which is number two, Baker's Point. But I really like this one, number three, because it's got some nice shady trees in there too and I could get the caravan lengthways across that site. It'd be really cool. But um, I'm going to take you for a little walk around uh, the campground and we will have a look at some of the other things that you can see in this awesome campground. It's becoming one of our favourites, which is I kind of feel funny about it because it's real close to home. It takes us less than an hour to get here from home, but it's one of the best ones. Great for kids riding their bikes. Great for the calm, really good river. So it's nice and deep. It's not shallow. It's not too deep. It sort of meanders off. And um, yeah, really, really good campsite. Spot over there. So this here is a pathway that goes from this side of the campground through to the uh, toilet block. So straight through there, but we're going to go around in a circle. We'll come back at the toilet block, but that path is a shortcut. Oh, that spot's free now. Spot on the corner is usually taken, but. But it's gone now because it's nice and flat. You're dobbing again. No, I'm not. So this is the day use area at Baker's Point Campground. Some prime spots, camping spots along the water. There, there's another one over there. But they are usually taken. I've never seen them vacant, ever. I don't think, probably have to come here in the middle of winter to get them vacant. Or have some uh, very good timing. Coming in at exactly the right time, someone leaving. But yeah, over the summer, they're usually pretty taken, those prime spots. You can see why with some of the shots over the water. Beautiful, beautiful location. So, another good thing about Baker's Point is you've got bins. 
you have got long drop toilets and you have access to water but probably not drinkable you'd want to make sure you boil that and most importantly dump point One afternoon while at camp, we were approached by Ranger John, who offered us and the kids a free tour of Griffiths Point, the western end of Baker's Beach. It was a fantastic experience where the kids got to learn about some of the local animal life, about bush tucker, and about conservation. Make sure you look out for Ranger John if you're camping at Baker's Point during the school holidays. going to do some uh, what are we doing Kelly I don't even know where I am I keep getting lost we're doing a walk it's spring lawn spring spring lawn okay so we've come back to the Narontapu visitor center to start the walking track and uh, I think I think some of us boardwalked isn't it so we'll see if we can find some animals at the very least get some exercise where are you going oh See, I still don't know where I'm going. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We know it. Years ago, there used to be wombats everywhere here, but they all got mange and died out. So I haven't seen a wombat in this area for ages. They used to just walk around here. What are we doing? Walk. Okay. Bush walk. That's all you've got, got is on Is that all me. you got to say? Uh, no. Okay. What else have you got to say? We saw a wallaby. Awesome. A huge one. And we're seeing these little things, see? Looks like people have gone past and spat in all the leaves. Do you know what it is, Jill? Yeah, it's only all of them. Are they jack jumpers? No, they don't. No jumpers there. They're moving like jack jumpers, but they're not big enough. They're jumping? They're baby jack jumpers. Yeah, I think they are. Yep, they are. I don't know. Baby they look a bit small, but they're moving like them. Stop. There's a snake. <gasps> it's a brown. Be a tiger snake, I reckon. Just stay there.
Yeah, look how big it is. Don't know if it's a tiger, it could be. If you ever see a snake, it's going the other way. You just have to be careful. It's not even really scared, is it? No, it's not scared. Can you see it from here? It's turning around and looking at us. Hey? It's keeping an eye on us. Don't go any closer. Alright? It start, <clears> starts coming towards us. You just move slowly, okay? Backwards. But it's not interested, it's just interested in going off. Doing its own thing. It's right across the track when I first saw it. Okay, we right. Let's keep your eye on it. You're right up the back there, honey, Julie? Yes, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Good. Just had a snake across the track about 50 metres that way. So. Oh, the track now. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. We were just talking about it and we saw it. Watch your feet. Yeah. <laughs> this is as far as we go. We'll go down here across this little bird hide, see if we can see some birds. Want to see some birds? Yeah. Yeah. Try and avoid more snakes. Yeah. <laughs> Mermaid still in there. The one time I didn't come down with the GoPro, there was a stingray, and I've been spewing it about that ever since. We've come back for a second time to Baker's Point campground. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can spin this around because Kel's put out some some leftover veggies for the patty melons and we've got a patty melon come out. These are our friends here, friends here, and the site that we really wanted last time we came, we are able to get it. It's our setup. Love it. I'm going to go down to the beach now and see if I can catch any of the sunset that's left, if there is any left. I'm a bit late for the sunset, but... Uh, awesome down here on the beach it is quarter to nine so uh just finished watching some tennis why would you watch tennis while you're camping but i don't know i just had the urge to watch some but uh here's what the beach looks like at this time of night so family's up there camping and um yeah i'll just do a spinnery what it's like sitting up there on the beach Awesome.